Hey guys, it's Tina from Tina Gets Real with Rumps. Um, I wanted to talk today about uh, why I chose cloth and show what I have so far. Um, I, um, I, I guess I'll just show you what I what I've got. I have two from Yurt Craft. When I first switched to cloth, I ordered from Caroline's Creations and Yurt Craft. Um, Caroline's Creations I don't have because they ended up being too short for me. Uh, Ten inches I discovered was too short for me. Um, they were beautifully made, but I gave them to my daughter. Um, so this is a 12 inch Yurt Craft, uh, which I like, but I have a longer gusset. Um, so when I get this up, I wrap the rings around my wings, around my undies, and I push it up to where I like it, uh, this flare is too far up my gusset, so it just doesn't feel right to me. Um, I wear it because I really like the print, but I don't like flares in the back. I've discovered I don't like flares in the back. Um, this one is a little stained. I don't know where it is stained. There it is. Um, this is a between a 14 and a 15 inch. Um, this, this one works better for uh, the gusset issue, but I, I've also discovered with this I don't like white <laughs> because... I'm not always the one who washes my pads. I always soak them and I put them in my laundry bag, but I'm not always the one who actually washes them in the washer. Not everybody knows when it's in there because, you know, why would they care? I live with my husband and my son. <laughs> they don't care about my pads. Um, so it, get, it has gotten washed on hot a few times and those stains are set in. But I've decided I don't like white for that reason. Um, I'm just happy my son and my husband do laundry, so I'm not going to complain. So the Yurt Craft is wonderfully made, and I would suggest them to anybody. However, I discovered with Caroline's Creations and Yurt Craft that I really need to make my own. I, 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 I bleed, like if this were up to where my underwear start to flare right here, I bleed right here which is very discouraging and I don't always like to wear the cup. So those are my yurt craft. While I was waiting for Caroline's Creations and yurt craft to arrive, I made my own. I couldn't wait. I decided to put a piece of paper in my underwear, like I laid out my underwear and I drew the gusset of my underwear and um, I don't need anything in the back. I do not bleed backwards ever, not even when I'm sleeping. It's always right here. Um, so I tried, started designing my own. Um, this is just, I was in a hurry. This is flannel and flannel with flannel inside. <laughs> I thought it might be too hot for me. Um, this is an old pillowcase, but I have discovered I really like flannel. And you will see that here soon. Um, this is my next step because this one wasn't quite big enough. Um, and I switched to cloth mainly because I have to wear a liner every day. And I am a bigger girl, so the liner, or the wings, because I need wings as well, would rub against the inner parts of my thighs. And if you can imagine wearing a pad every single day, if you've watched my previous videos, you knew that it was a must. Um rubbed me raw. Now, I preferred pads over tampons, so that was a lesser evil to me, and I was happy with them for the longest time until I was researching family cloth, um, and I found cloth pads. I knew about menstrual cups because my doctor had talked to me about it, but I didn't know about cloth pads, and it didn't even cross my mind, quite honestly. But when I found it, I was like, ew. But then I got to thinking, why is it ew? I wash my underwear, you know, and they got bloody all the time. Um, 
so why not? So I did it, and this is the one I made, and I discovered that this works perfect for a panty liner because I do have stress incontinence. Works perfect to wear every day. <laughs> I wear this in my silky panties, which is why I have snaps up here because it slides and flops. And anyway, um, so I decided that it needed to be a little bit bigger. So I readjusted my pattern and came up with this. And I mark it with a little um, leaf. It's a stitch on my sewing machine. I do one leaf for one layer absorb and two leaves for two layers absorb and I know how I make my pads so that's all I need. I don't plan on selling them. I have some vision problems and you know what? This is probably about as good as it's going to get and it's not anywhere near good enough for sale. So plus you know I live in the US. So and I don't know if you can see it but I have part of that this flannel pattern is um, on top of the Zorb because I read somewhere that you need to have a layer of flannel or something on top and behind but this is cotton topped and fleece backed and I'm just with all of these you'll see I'm playing with stitches to try to make it pretty and I mainly did this because I am not good at turning and I wanted a great big open flat spot to just turn it so you'll see a lot of them are like this so I made a couple of those and then this pattern cotton top fleece back uh, light one layer absorb again and then I have one two three four five six of these one layer absorb um, just my daughter I made a whole bunch for my daughter and she has the whole long it's they look like this only with a tail because she bleeds back as well but she bleeds forward to the right I know you really don't care about my daughter's bleeding pattern you probably don't even care about mine but you know what I'm real <laughs> so um this is all I made her probably 25 pads and all of these are left over from what she got and she got a half a yard of three different types of fabric and I made her two wet bags as well out of it um, with some pull oh none of these have PUL in it because I didn't have any at the time um so straight stitch straight stitch straight 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 and then I got some new fabrics in uh, much to my husband's chagrin I went shopping at Joann's and these are not for me this is a section six inch panty liner flannel back cotton topped all of them are going to be flannel back cotton topped from now on because I discovered that fleece is just not necessary for me because I wear a cup and it's just so to me it feels thicker and I don't I don't particularly like it so I I made these for a friend of mine I was telling her about cloth and she said she she doesn't get her period anymore but her daughter is going to start soon she's hitting that age and she said why don't we just start a stash for her so I, I made these two for her to try out I haven't seen her since then this was a month ago when I bought my Girl Scout cookies um, and now we've gone to these um, the new cloth these are panty liners yet again I have not started my period since my last video so I haven't had a chance to try these out with my period to see how much they absorb but they are more than adequate for my stress incontinence you know sneeze pee <laughs> um, so flannel cotton top flannel back and I just tried a, a zigzag pattern on this one I'm getting better at top stitching I do have some vision problems so I I think I said that I don't know if I will ever be perfect but you know what these are good enough for me Ugh, that's a little wonky but and it's just you know laying on back and I'm not fond of this pattern but you know what it was left over from my daughter's purchases so I used it uh, I'm not sure which one I like I think I like this zigzag stitch better but I don't remember the setting I was on like I said I'm doing a lot of um, experimenting now 
I decided that I needed something a little bit bigger to try with no cup. I decided, and I also decided to try an exposed core because I really liked the look of it. Um, so what I did, this is a blue dinosaur pattern. Um, I just made an extra insert about a quarter of an inch smaller to cut my Zorb out of. And then the core that they have was my pattern and then just the regular uh, wing part of it. Um, <laughs> but what I did with this one is I sewed it together and I sewed on the backing or I sewed together the backing and I have a hidden layer of pull in here. These are the only ones I have PUL in and we'll see if it's worth it. Um, but after I made this one, I thought, well, crap, I forgot to sew on the core. So I sewed it on and then I got to thinking, well, this is not going to be very leak proof. So I need to run these through the dryer quite a few times, hopefully. And I was in a hurry to film this, so don't mind the snaps. <laughs> they matched when I picked them out. I just didn't put them on the right ones. These were literally done five minutes ago. Um, so I decided that I like, as, as I'm putting them together and snapping them, I've decided that I like the length of the blue dinosaur wings. That is just beautiful. But I'm not sure the flare is going to work for me. So I may have to uh, do a cross between the blue dinosaur and one that I made. Um, so that's that. And then this one, I did like a normal uh, all-in-one pad. I made the core and then I sewed it on a piece of flannel and then I layered it with a, pardon me, with a layer of PUL in there and it worked out better. I didn't have to sew through the back. And again, I like the way this one snaps up. I love it. But I'm not certain this is going to be enough. But we'll see. I'm going to try it with, um, because ironically, my stress incontinence goes to the same area. So we'll see if this will work. Um, and this one, I don't know what I did here, uh, but whatever. This is a hybrid of my always pad, a uh, disposable pad that I traced around and added a flare and Yurtcraft because I liked the size of the wings of Yurtcraft. Although after making the blue dinosaur, um, I'm, you know, I'm pretty certain they're supposed to be the same. I don't know, but they're not. They're just the shape of the wing is a little different, and I really prefer the blue dinosaur, which is a free pattern on uh, Rump's Paddocks and Lovers Sewing Group or something like that. I'll put the link below to the group. It is a closed group, so I don't know if you'll be able to find it, but I'll put the link to the group itself down there. Um, so like I said, this is a hybrid of the Yurtcraft wing and the Always pad that, and I drew on an extra flare. However, this one is a little bunchier. It just doesn't fold as neatly. So I think I'm going to go with the Blue Dinosaur wing. I think I said that a million times. Once again, babble, babble. And... <laughs> Not certain this is going to do anything for me because it doesn't even, you know, it just, it's a hot mess. Uh, but I'm going to use it anyway because you know what? I made it. And then this one turned out a little better. This one has two layers of Zorb. And so I marked it with two. Oh, guys. Ooh. I don't know if you can see them. Anyway, two leaves, not, I don't know, forget it. Uh, two layers of Zorb with a layer of flannel between. Um, and this one turned out better as far as snapping. I think because it's a little thicker. Uh, but I don't like the bunching. 
So, and I, I decided, this looks about perfect to me. I decided that I don't like this extra area because I'm just going to bleed on it. And there's no Zorb, so I think because there's P.U.L. in here, it's just going to bloop right off. Um, and I'm not particularly fond of the exposed core because it takes twice as much fabric. It truly does because you have to, well, what I did was sandwich my Zorb between cotton and then sandwich my pool between flannel and then sewed it all together. So basically, this is enough material for two pads, but it's only one. So I decided that um, I like the look, but it's just not cost efficient for me, so I'm not going to do it. So, <laughs> I know you don't care, but whatever. Um, I am slowly but sure, surely getting a little bit better. I really do like these. I like the blue dinosaur pattern. I just need to tweak it a little bit for the flare because I don't want to wear a cup all the time. Um, if anybody has any patterns with a front flare that and not a back flare with more up front. Oh, that didn't make any sense. Front flare, no back flare, more pad towards the front than there is behind. Please, and it's a free pattern, please share. Um, I cannot find any single makers, uh, work at home moms or moon pads or anything like that, that makes what I need. So I have to do it myself. And I still haven't got it quite right. But yeah, these are on my pads. Uh, no, and uh, I don't, I'm not sure if I said why I switched the cloth, but you know, it's just more comfortable. I will never, ever, ever go back to that scratchy, noisy pad again, uh, which is quite ironic because the first influencer box, I, I, you guys probably don't know what that is, but influencer is a a, a trial box that they send you if you you take this quiz and if they figure you're the right whatever they uh, send you a box well my very first one I qualified for that I just got a couple days ago was for carefree panty liners and you know what I'm <laughs> it made me giggle because they finally send me something and it's something that I've sworn off using forever so, I gave them to my daughter. Because she's having a hard time with um, cloth pads. She keeps leaking off the side. Oh, I did make some interlabials, which I don't have here. Um, I made rectangle ones, probably two inches long. And then I made some petal shaped ones, probably an inch and a half. And then I read in a, the group about gu guitar pick shaped ones. So it's, you know, it's a V and then it's kind of rounded kind of a heart without the middle thing so I haven't had a chance to use those yet but um, if you have any uh, inner labial pad designs that work very well for you please let me know I'm also trying to figure out a way to sew somehow sew a string to the inner labial pad and then sew it to the pad somehow. I saw something in the sewing group where someone sews an inner labial pad right here. Now, for me, that would not work because I would have to reach down in my panties and put this up against my body and then slip it in. That's just, I, I don't think it would happen. So you guys help me figure out a way to get an inner labial pad on a string, number one, yarn or a crocheted string, whatever. And then help me figure out how it's right. It's on the tip of my brain. I just can't process how to do it yet. How to connect it to the pad so it doesn't fall in the toilet. Anyway, I'm going to end it because I'm very sure this is very long and none of you really care. So thank you for getting real with me. This has been Tina with Tina Gets Real with Rumps. And uh, let me know about all the stuff we discussed. Thanks, have a good day.